I never really know how to start these because I feel like it can sound or come off so corny being like, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're going to just start it like this. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. If you aren't and you're returning, thank you so much for watching today. As you can tell by the title of this video and the thumbnail, we are doing a what I eat in a day. So on my Instagram, I think it was last week, I asked what my next YouTube video should be. And I gave three options. I gave like a weekend vlog, a daily vlog, or a what I eat in a day. And by landslide, what I eat in a day, one. So I personally like to watch those as well. I think they're really interesting. So we're gonna do that today. I did a huge grocery shop, a huge Costco haul. Not just for this video, I needed a lot of groceries. I needed to stock up. So we're gonna make some meals today. I don't have any plans about what I'm gonna make. We're just gonna kind of wing it and then see where it takes us because I just want it to be authentic and I don't want to like plan out what I'm making and make it look like I just make all these amazing meals. We'll just see where my schedule takes me. I don't want it to be like I have time to make a beautiful lunch every day. Like realistically I eat a salad or like random snacks if I don't have time throughout my work day. So if you aren't already following me on my Instagram Make sure you're following me so that you guys can have a say about what video I put out next. And the last thing I wanted to disclose about this what I eat in a day is like, this is just what I do and what I eat that works for me. Um, everyone's body's different. I probably should be eating more like heavily protein based foods, but I don't. I, I eat a very plant based vegetarian diet. So um, this is just what I eat and what works for me personally. If you live a different life and eat certain things that's what's best for you i think everyone should eat differently it would be weird if we all have the same diet so i just wanted to disclose that and maybe if you are struggling with your relationship for food and this video isn't the video for you to be watching like my heart's with you and turn this video off no hard feelings do what's best for you okay let's jump into the video i'm going to kick it off with a grocery haul that i did i filmed the clips yesterday and then I'm going to show you a few things I got from Costco. I said I was going to do a Costco haul in the clips from yesterday. However, I got home late last night and I didn't film anything. And a lot of it is like boring greens, um, Brussels sprouts, like stuff that you guys really don't care about. But I did get a few fun things that I want to show you guys that I'm excited about. So I'll show you guys those and then we will dive into what I'm having for breakfast today and I'll show you guys that. All right, you guys, let's kick this vlog off. We got this Elmhurst almond milk and i love this brand because straight up you guys have heard me talk about this on my channel if you're just watching this video then maybe you haven't but so many almond milks or any sort of plant-based milks has fillers but this one has straight up filtered water and almonds it's expensive but i feel okay spending money on this when i know what's good ingredients going into my body and then everyone recommended the cashew one so we're trying that again filtered water and cashews this is my favorite peanut butter of all time. It has, um, it's all natural, so it's just peanuts. Why is it in French? There we go. Only peanuts with sea salt. It's just like an added extra flavor to it. I love other peanut butters too, but I always buy these two together. I use these for my smoothies. Then we got some tomato paste. I'm gonna use that to make a curry. Another tomato paste to make um, a red sauce pasta. Corn niblets for rice bowls. So this coconut milk, I'm also really excited about because another thing with coconut milk has a lot of filler in it. This one has only coconut milk and water. And you literally look at the ingredients, it's coconut and water. The other ones have like guar gum, polysorbonate, stuff that's not good for you. So I got three of these and got some lentils because I'm gonna put these in my pasta for a little added extra protein, my red pasta. We got diced tomatoes for the red pasta sauce. Also, sorry about the mess. These are Poshmark things I'm selling. And that is my mom's dog. I'm dog sitting. There's Harvey, mom's dog. So cute. Anywho, peppers for Greek wraps, spinach for salads, also for Greek, Greek wraps, maybe for tacos. I'm thinking of making some chickpea or maybe I have some like meat alternative fish in the freezer tacos. Um, What are these called? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking, but you know what these are. Pitas. Pitas for the wraps. I tried to buy regular ginger because I prefer to use the fresh stuff on um, online on Instacart, but they didn't have any. And I've been having a hard time finding ginger at the store recently, so I never do this, but I bought it minced because I need it. 
noodles, because why not? We got this for a little late night snack because every time after I eat, I want a little something sweet. Roma tomatoes. These are the only tomatoes I like and only if I chop them up really small. Those will be for the Greek wraps and whatever leftovers I'll put in the red sauce. Okay, and then we got frozen blueberries for my smoothies, frozen raspberries for my smoothies. There's always one thing you mess up in your online delivery order and I meant to order two bunches of bananas because they get them and then they freeze them for smoothies, but I only got literally two bananas. White onion, I can't find red onion anywhere. Tofu, extra firm as always. I never go any less firm than extra firm. These mushroom bites, which you've seen me share on my channel before, they're super clean, they're gluten-free, they're vegan. You can read all the ingredients in them. I put them on salads, I throw them in the air fryer. Some ginger for rice bowls, egg noodles to make a stir fry, gala apples, cauliflower, cause I might make some cauliflower tacos and then avocados. So yeah, this is what I ordered and I'll do a Costco run as well, get all the ingredients I need. And then I'll do, I'll do a Costco haul as well and we'll jump into this what I eat in a day. All right, so you saw what I just did for my groceries, my regular Instacart order. I order all my groceries majority of the time from Superstore. It's just Brody's drinking water. All my groceries I order from Superstore, I just find it has all the stuff that I personally need for my groceries and it's the most cost efficient for me. They have like a great natural aisle, they have a great natural product, gluten-free, vegan like selection on their site. So that's just my preference. And then I usually do also a Costco shop because they just have some things that are more cost efficient to buy in bulk or they have some things that they offer that Superstore just doesn't and it doesn't make sense for me to buy something from Superstore when I can get it for double the amount for the same price or less at Costco. Let's kick it off with one of these reasons why. So I get my oats from Costco. This bag's amazing, it is gluten-free. And I got oats because I'm trying to make my own oat milk now. You guys saw in that grocery haul I did yesterday, those Elmhurst oat milks are like $10 each. This bag is less than $10 and it'll make how many liters of oat milk i don't even know at this point but a lot so this is way more cost efficient but if you buy a bag maybe like one quarter of this size at superstore it can be like ten dollars if you want a gluten-free oat this one is gluten-free like i said and it is i think it's like 8.99 for this bag i could be wrong but it's definitely better for the better price for the amount that you get next is another similar kind of thing to that is this granola I think a lot of people know about this granola, but it is nature's path, it's organic, it is gluten-free, it's vegan, and it is coconut and cashew butter, and it is so good. This is the granola I put on my smoothie bowls, and I've tried so many other granolas, but this one just like hits different, I don't know. Sometimes I'll just eat it straight out the bag when I want a little like sweet tooth fix, but it has like coconut shreds in it. It's very good. Let me see the ingredients. You can read all the ingredients. We love to see that. So yeah, I really like this granola. And if you buy it in the smaller bag from Superstore, it's way more expensive. This is the bulk version, way more cost efficient long-term wise. Something that I always have bought from Costco as well is this gluten-free, what brand is this? Little Northern Bakehouse Seeds and Grains Bread. I personally like a seed bread. So this one is some, this one is the kind I really like. They do have other gluten-free breads, but the size of the bread slice and the taste and the seeds are what I really like about this specific kind. It comes in a two pack, so got that from Costco. It's 100% plant-based and egg-free and it tastes like bread to me. I am not gluten intolerant, I'm not celiac, but I do prefer to just opt for gluten-free options. I've been doing that for a couple years now and that's just what I do for my body. On that note, I got these gluten-free Plain bagels from this brand called Carbonaut. Carbonaut. And I just thought it was interesting because they're low in calories, which honestly I don't care. Like last week I had a regular bagel, like one of these from Costco every day. And so, like, it is what it is. Like, you just uh, sometimes I like to eat those, sometimes I like to opt for a less calories version. But um, these ones got my eye because they're gluten-free. So let's take a peek at them. Hold on. I'm gonna have one of these for breakfast. They look a little funky, but we're gonna try it. And usually I just put a vegan butter on my bagel, toast it up, put a vegan butter. So 
We'll see how those taste. Again, this came in a pack of two, similar to the bread. Um, can't give my full review, but that was just a new find. This is also a new find. It is a gourmet honey mustard pretzel and nut mix. I've already opened it, so can confirm it is very tasty and yummy. I would highly recommend. I haven't seen this at Costco before, so when I walked by it, and maybe I've been living under a rock, but when I saw it, I was like, I need to get this. Opened it in the car, immediately started snacking on it, and it is so freaking good. I love a good nut mix. I love a good snack to have in the house when I want to have something, you know. I'll probably have some of that today. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Um, okay, from Costco as well, matcha. I've been wanting to get matcha for a while now. I'm interested to see how this goes because is it real matcha? I don't know. However, I feel like when the weather starts to get more bleh, which right now it's starting to do that, I need a midday pick-me-up, but I can't have two coffees during the day because if I have one past a certain time, it's usually like one or two, which is when I start fading. If I have a coffee around one or 2 p.m., I am up all night. I'm so sensitive to caffeine. I have one coffee in the morning and I cannot have another one. So matcha hopefully will be like the perfect pick-me-up. I opened this last night to look like, I was like, that doesn't sound like matcha, but this is how it comes in this little pack. And then I guess you open it up and put it in here and it stays fresh. I wonder how many servings are in here. I don't know, it says it's organic matcha. So I bet you like the matcha loving queens are gonna come for me and say, that's not real matcha, that's not good matcha, but it's worth a shot. I wanna see if it works for my midday pick me up that I've been eating lately. And then the last thing that I wanted to share that wasn't boring that I got from Costco are these RX bars. So they're super clean. And this other brand almost had me fooled. I think it's called like Simply Protein. Of It's another brand of um, granola bars. Almost had me fooled to get it. I almost switched out the RX bar. But then I did my job and I looked at the ingredients on the back. And this other brand, Simply Protein, had like all these filler ingredients their list of ingredients on their bars was like this long and if you look here this is so i'll cover the french part so you don't get confused that is the list of ingredients in one rx bar it's very clean there's like 10 ingredients which i love so much these also have per bar 12 12 grams each of protein so this is a good healthy post gym snack for me because a lot of the times i work out in the afternoon and then i'm like immediately hungry after my workout between gym and dinner so this will be good to have to just like give myself that protein that i need and to not fill up too much on empty snacks like this which i'll probably still have these just keeping it real okay sorry i got a phone call so i had to cut that off but yeah these were my costco finds some of these like i said are my ride or dies from costco some of them are just new finds so i want to share those with you guys i will definitely not be able to report back because this is only a one day what I eat in a day but in my future vlogs I'll try and report back um okay let's make breakfast let's do it normally I take greens every morning before my breakfast but I'm out right now but you know what I actually have a little bit should we make some this is the greens I usually have it is from camp Prep. I think you can get this from any supplement store so like body energy club vita save um, I bet you, what is that? Like Popeyes? Yeah, like all of those will have it. I mix this with about like five ounces of water and then chug it back. So let's do that quickly. This is what she looks like. Looks like swamp water, tastes like grass, but good for the old gut. So we're just gonna do it. I try and do that every morning. I've been doing it for like two or three months now. I do actually help it finds with digestion, but other than that, like I don't know if I've seen, I feel like there's greens on my lips. I don't know if I've seen any other benefits if I'm being honest, but it feels good for the body. It feels good to get some greens in right in the morning before you put in like a carb into your body. So, okay, let's make some brekkie. of work 
so I'm gonna make some lunch now. But snacking on these in the meantime. Cause girl's hungry. It's 1 p.m. but I ate a while ago, so I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I don't know. Here's the thing. You guys have seen me share the certain salad dressing in my other vlogs. They didn't have it at Costco, it's gone. So now I'm back to square one because I have a problem with salad dressings. I cannot find the one I like. I don't know, I don't like making homemade ones. So I bought a bunch of salad stuff, but I do have like one recipe for a homemade one. Should we make it? But I just have such a weird thing about salad dressings. I don't know how to explain it. Like I hate all store-bought ones. I've tried so many. I found this one I really like from Costco. It was like an Asian sesame dressing and it was so good. So maybe I'll make my homemade dressing right now and make a salad for lunch. How boring. You know what, scratch that. We are going to make a Raz butter smoothie bowl because I haven't made that on my channel yet. I love smoothie bowls so much. So I'm going to show you how I make one of my favorite ones. Um, but I'm gonna be smart here, okay? gonna be smart and I'm gonna make my salad dressing for tomorrow or maybe I'll have it for dinner tonight right now so I can show you guys my salad dressing that I do like that I make from home and that makes this vlog a little more interesting so I have all my ingredients here sesame oil tamari gluten-free soy sauce if you don't know which is tamari this one is the light sodium one something about tamari is it's way it has way more sodium than normal soy sauce so I try and get the light if possible Garlic, clove garlic, got my garlic press here. Honey, this is my uncle's honey, by the way. He has honey, this is his own brand. I really just eyeball it. There's definitely recipes you can follow, but I've been making it for so long, so I eyeball it. So just a little bit of garlic, not too much, because I feel like if that you put too much in, then you're tasting garlic all day, and I'm really sensitive to that. I wonder if I should show you guys what I'm doing or just tell you. Don't know what's the best option here. So this is out for no reason. We'll do a little bit of sesame oil. Let's make enough dressing for a couple salads. Tamari. That was probably a lot. Whoops. I'm gonna add in some regular extra virgin olive oil just to dilute how much soy sauce I just put in. A little bit of honey, just do like that much. And then I'm gonna grab one more thing, hold on. Okay, last thing I'm grabbing is apple cider vinegar. This says it goes bad in 2025, but I've had it for so long, I'm actually scared to use it, but let's see. Am I supposed to refrigerate it? Because I definitely don't. Oh, it smells fine. It has like the scoby in it right now, which is gross. Yuck. And then I think that's it. I usually go like this. Mix it up. Put away things while I mix her up. And then once you've mixed it quite a bit, just do a little taste test. The spoon has honey on it, but whatever. Mmm. It actually tastes really good. I like to let it sit in the fridge so like the garlic melts in. I know that's not the right word, but like soaks it. the flavors from the garlic soak into the dressing. You know what I mean? So that'll be for later or tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have salmon tonight. So it'd be really good on some greens on the side. Okay, let's make the smoothie bowl now. Okay, PSA. If you buy natural peanut butter and all the oils sit on top, I always start off by putting it in the fridge upside down to get those oils to kind of like go through the peanut butter. But life hack, use a mixer and as long as your mixer goes into the jar, you'll be fine. I've used a small jar where the mixer stuck out and it makes a mess. If it's close in size, it's not gonna make a mess. It's so much easier than mixing it manually with your hand. Huge life hack, saves you so much time. So I'm gonna quickly mix that and then we'll get, we'll get going on the smoothie bowl. 
All right, there we go. She's all mixed up. All right, so we're gonna do raspberries, frozen raspberries. Oh no. She's not very static. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. I'll use some scissors. Alright. So I fill up all my ingredients and then I do milk. This avoids extra milk that you don't need. So I'll do raspberries probably to a cup and a half. And then I I order extra bananas every time I grocery shop, like a whole extra bunch, and then I peel them and freeze them for smoothies when they're ripe. So I'm gonna put in only half of the frozen banana. And put that back in the freezer. Now we're gonna do a big spoonful of peanut butter. I do like that much. I don't know if that helps with measurements. Again, eyeball it. Add more or less if you want. The more you add, the less, I guess, healthy it is, but everyone's diet is different. I like to have a lot of peanut butter in mine. I don't put any more on top. So I don't mind putting a lot in my smoothie. Licking the spoon necessity. Okay, then this is my coconut milk from the fridge. It was like a different coconut milk than I normally get. It was like a, a light one and I put it in, I always put it in like a container or like a jar or something like this in the fridge after I open it because I don't obviously use a whole can every time. This one hardened up a lot more, which is fine because it's gonna get blended up anyway. So I'm gonna put some of this in and then I'm gonna put some water. So I don't put a lot of coconut milk in because it is high, because it's high in calories. Enough to make it creamy, just like that much. You probably couldn't see. But that much looks like yogurt i'm gonna put some water in. i'll show you hold on so i put like a cup and a half of water this is key do not put too much water you can always add more if you need to if you put too much water you're gonna get a watery smoothie bowl or it'll just end up being a smoothie which is fine but start with a little bit of water mix it up and then add water accordingly and now we blend this is what she looks like. She actually looks nice and frozen thick, which we love to see for a smoothie bowl. So I'm going to put it in my bowl now. I will change the view so you guys can see me make it. Here we go. By the way, guys, these bowls are from Fable and they are my favorite. I love them so much. I got them a couple months ago now and I'm obsessed with them. I got rid of all my old plateware because of these and they're actually, I'm hoping by the time this video goes live, having a ceramic sale right now so i'll put a link below so you guys can shop if you want to get some this is the speckled white they have some really stunning other pieces as well other colors they have like a blush pink and a charcoal gray and stuff so okay there she is oh i guess i use my spoon that's very dirty because you know why not um also these spoons are from fable it has peanut butter on it but it's so pretty looks so good together okay we are using of course the granola the one and only my day sometimes it comes super clumped up so i like break it up on the top and just add a little bit of granola for the day it's pretty clean lunch kind of a breakfast food however i love to have it for lunch so tasty cures a sweet tooth and is filling so Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The raspberries make it a little tart, which is nice. It pairs really, pairs really well with the creamy peanut butter and then the creamy granola on top. There's literally a dog hair in here. That is my life now. Dog hair everywhere. I wonder how many I ingest a day for real. It's gross. I should also say you can totally put, you know, fresh banana on top here, chia seeds, a lump of peanut butter, fresh raspberries, whatever you want. I like to keep it simple because this is like quick lunch that I make during my work day and that takes obviously extra time. So this is more realistic for me, but you can totally make it pretty. Other thing I wanted to mention, of course, water intake is a huge part of what I eat in a day. When I wake up in the morning, I make sure I drink water before I have any coffee. 
it is a necessity for me and I try and drink at least one of these a day, sometimes one and a half if I'm feeling extra thirsty, if I go to the gym, if I go on a walk, but at least one of these a day. I will link this below. This is the best water bottle I've ever had. The handle, because it's so big, like obviously a lot of the time these huge water bottles are annoying to carry around. They're literally like a little baby, but it is my baby. And the handle, the fact that it's sturdy, it helps. Like, you know those ones with the little like cord or like the little string, the loop? Nuh-uh, I want something sturdy so I can like carry this around. It comes with me everywhere. It's attached on my hip, it is my literal child. I call it my ESWB. I think Tinks started that and it means emotional support water bottle and this is my emotional support water bottle. Everyone knows I bring her everywhere and she's so clunky, but she's my best friend. Okay, I'm gonna go eat, get back to work. Let's touch base later. Probably won't be eating until closer to eight, but I'll definitely show you guys what I make and the finished product. All right, I just went to the gym, so I'm going to eat one of these RX bars before dinner. I'm gonna start making dinner right now. The plan is to make salmon, greens, and potatoes. Um, but yeah, these are high in protein and I need a snack because I'm hungry. So dinner will be a little bit. So this is the chocolate sea salt one. I haven't tried it yet, so let's try it together. Feels kind of weird to try food on camera and chew in front of you guys, but I guess this is like an eating vlog. I just feel like that's kind of gross. Mmm. Mm hmm. The sea salt on top makes it really tasty and flavorful. So, I'm gonna devour this and then I'll show you what I'm making for dinner. Pro tip in the fall, put fall jazz on while you're cooking in the morning, when you're working, if you work from home, and just feel the vibe. That sounds so stupid and woo woo, but I swear it makes your day or like your work life or your cooking so much better. Like you can pretend you're on a cooking show. I don't know, feels good, works for me. If you wanna try it, try it. If not, fair enough. Um, first up, I'm gonna prep the potatoes. I got my air fryer basket right here. I have this air fryer, it's the Ninja one. Yeah, the Ninja one. I just got some baby potatoes here. I'm gonna chop them into either halves. Let's see, Ooh, yeah, halves are cute and I'm going to season the crap out of them, salt them up. I love a good salty potato. And then I'm a little bit torn cause like I'd love to put some fresh garlic in, but it's gonna burn in the air fryer. So I'm wondering if maybe I can like throw it in in the last minute, call it a day. Cause I want them to be garlicky and yummy. Um, personally hate baking, hate, hate, hate pan frying potatoes. I find it takes so freaking long. Love them in the air fryer. And then I got the salmon behind me right here. I'm going to cut it up and freeze half of it for another dinner, but I'm gonna use half tonight. Gonna cut some little fillets. I'm gonna do like a honey garlic glaze. That's the plan. I'm gonna follow a recipe. I will link it below. I will pop it up on screen if it's small enough to be on screen, but I'm gonna just follow a recipe if I'm unsure how to do things what I do um also I know I said at the beginning of this video I'm like I eat a very plant-based vegetarian diet but I definitely love seafood so much I usually reserve it for when I'm out at dinner and buying a meal I don't ever buy it from home however like I will buy it from Costco if uh if like I want to that time and I'm gonna use it but honestly I haven't bought salmon in probably like a year so I, that's why i have to look up a recipe about how to make it like i really don't know how so pro tip is buy one of these at the dollar store and put your oil in it and then you can use it as a spray oil it's so nice i only fill it up a little bit at a time because i don't really go through that much but it makes it so much easier and i feel like you can disperse it's actually like almost out so i'm gonna have to fill it up i feel like you can disperse the oil a little bit better instead of just like you know over pouring with this because it comes out so fast. Mix them up. Make sure you get them all a little, a little oily. We don't want them burning. We want them crisping. I'm gonna put a little garlic salt for now. And let's see what else we should put. 
little onion powder because why not? You know what I mean? Need some pepper. Also, I don't know if anyone else does this. I'm sure people do, but I always put parchment paper down in my air fryer just to save me from having to clean it every single time. It's way less of a mess. Okay, now that's ready to go. Those only take like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna wait to start those. I'm gonna cut the salmon now and divide up the fillets. And then the third thing I'm doing is just greens with that salad dressing I made tonight. So I guess I am putting it to use. I'm connecting all the dots for this vlog, you guys. So let me divide these salmon fillets. I will circle back when I'm making the sauce and when I'm making the green. All right, I'm not one to measure, so we're just gonna eyeball it. I'm looking at my laptop, but I'm not measuring properly. Like it says a tablespoon, this is a tablespoon-ish, so two tablespoons of soy, but I'm using tamari, so gluten-free. Two tablespoons olive oil. One, two, we got two tablespoons of honey. I'm gonna need a spoon for that because we're not double dipping into my honey jar. I feel like the more sauce, the merrier, you know what I mean? So I'm not really measuring. It's whatever if there's too much. One teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm losing light. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna do, this is a half teaspoon. I don't know where my full teaspoon is. So again, eyeballing it. It'll be all Gucci in the end. Don't worry. One teaspoon of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. We don't have freshly squeezed. We have this one, but it's supposedly all just straight lemon juice. Obviously has some preservatives in it to be able to last this long, but lemon, oh, one fourth cup of water. I don't know why, I feel like I'm gonna skip the water. I feel like that's for pan frying. Fresh press of the garlic. The good good, I freaking love garlic, it's so good. I feel like if I put a fourth cup of water in here, it'd be so watery, so we're just not doing that. Nope. Not needed. Okay, this is what it looks like. It looks awful right now, but it will be good. I do think I'm going to add a little bit of water because it is quite thick, especially with the cornstarch. It's gonna keep it thick, so, and I might get a whisk to really get this going. All right, so this is what the sauce looks like. This is what the salmon fillets look like. Tin foil to keep the mess from getting larger. I'm going to try pour the sauce on it. Actually, wait, I'm gonna do one thing first, pause. Life hack, my mom taught me to do this. You fold up the edges of the tin foil so that, I mean, maybe everyone knows this, but I think it's genius. Fold up the edges of the tin foil so that the juices don't leak out onto your pan. So I'm gonna pour this all over. Yum, yum, yum. And we're gonna get that in the oven at 400 for like 12 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna start the potatoes at the same time and we're gonna prep the greens. Also other life hack, put another piece of tin foil on top and fold it over. This creates like a, don't know the correct term, but like that means your salmon doesn't get cooked on the top before it's like cooked all the way through. It makes a really nice, hmm, thoroughly cooked salmon. I don't know the word. Okay, so also I know I need a new pan. It's, oh gosh. One's in there. I hate when that happens. Pause, 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 pause. I know I need a new pan. These pans I got when I first moved out and I got like new ones because they work perfectly fine. So, all right, at the same time, we're gonna do 400 for start up. 15 minutes and we'll shake them halfway through. All right, I have my greens here. This is from Costco. It's just a rocky now. about the Rocky Mountain blend here. And then I'm just gonna cut up some cucumber, just some extra oomph for the salad, but I'm gonna use the dressing we made together today. And then I'm gonna just shake the potatoes right now. They're looking pretty good already though. I don't know if you can see. Okay, 
Here's the finished product. I broiled the salmon for a few minutes um, at the end. I like took the juices from the tin foil and put it on top and then broiled it for a few seconds. Then these came out perfectly roasted and the salad's gonna be delicious. So this is my dinner. Okay, dinner was so good. Um, as always after dinner, I need something a little sweet. So that chocolate bar I showed you guys from my Superstore haul. I'm having some right now. I have like, can you see? <laughs> the shadow a few pieces right here it's 85 percent cacao so it's not super sweet but it does the trick you know what i mean so that is a wrap on my what i eat in a day vlog if you guys want to see another one of these make sure you comment below make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button make sure you're following me on instagram and let me know in the comments what video you want to see from me next because there will be more so i'd love to create videos that you guys actually want to see thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time